once you decide to go ahead with surgery, it, it usually takes about four to six weeks to get it on the schedule. We have to call the surgery center and make arrangements with them. And we need time to schedule a pre-op visit before that to get all the measurements and so on before the surgery. Once in a while, if there's a cancellation, we can do it ahead of that. Um, if you want to wait longer, again, we can. It just depends on the schedule. So for the pre-op visit, if we've dilated your eyes before, that really is just about getting some measurements and getting all the paperwork done. You usually don't need a driver, but she'll be here for a while. We're going to get a lot of measurements on the eye. We're going to go, a lot of, go over a lot of the instructions about where to go and what to do. We're going to give you a prescription at that point for some drops to use and some instructions on how to do it. So you'll get all those kind of details at the pre-op visit a week or two before the surgery. The surgery, again, is usually pretty easy, so you don't need a lot of testing or medical procedures ahead of time. We usually do like to make sure that you've seen your primary doctor or internist sometime in the recent past so that we know that things are stable. We may want to get some routine blood tests just to check things if you haven't had them for a while, especially if you're on medications that might affect your chemistry or your blood counts. But it's usually pretty easy. There's not a whole lot involved. You'll be on some drops before surgery. We'll go over all that at your pre-op visit. You'll be on them after surgery as well for usually several weeks. Again, we'll give you the specific instructions on that. Uh, it's important that you take the drops because that helps prevent infection and helps with the healing. On the day of surgery, we want you to come in. Don't eat or drink anything that morning. We want, we want your stomach to be pretty empty. If you have heart medicines, blood pressure medicines that you need to take, go ahead and take those with a sip of water. But don't take anything else that you don't need to. Uh, wear clothing that's comfortable and loose. Don't bring jewelry or anything expensive, but remember to bring your ID and your insurance information with you when you come in for, uh, for the surgery. The surgery takes about only about 10 minutes, but plan on being at the surgery center for two to three hours, depending on how, how backed up things are and how long it takes to get you all the way awake afterwards. You should also have transportation available. We don't want you driving the day of surgery or really for the first day afterwards till we see you in the office the next day. At the outpatient center, you're going to be there for two to three hours. Uh, the actual surgery is only about 10 minutes. A lot of that time is getting you ready for surgery, be surgery before and then just watching you afterwards for 15 or 30 minutes. Once you're awake and feeling pretty normal, you can go home and do things pretty normally. The day after surgery, we're going to see you in the office. Again, you should have a driver for that visit. Bring all your drops with you at that visit so we can go over, go over them and make sure everything is right and go over your instructions to make sure you're taking them the right way afterwards. Depending on how your vision is that first day after surgery, you may be able to drive after that. Usually we tell patients to wait a couple days just to get adjusted to their new vision and make sure they're comfortable with their depth perception and so on before they get in the car. Once you go home, you're going to keep up with the drops. Usually we don't patch the eye. In a normal cataract case, we'll have you go home with some sunglasses. We'll want you to start using the drops as soon as you get home and keep using them throughout the healing period. We'll give you instructions on that when you're ready to go home. It's normal to have a little bit of scratchiness in the eye or feeling like there's an eyelash in the eye afterwards. Usually if you just close the eye for a little bit, that goes away pretty quick. A little headache or dull ache is not unusual. You can take some Tylenol or Advil or whatever you have at home for that. If you have a lot of pain, I want you to call. I don't expect that. That'd be very, very rare. You can do most activities when you go home. Keep it clean and dry. Don't rub it. You can lift, pick things up off the floor, bend over. As long as the blood's not rushing to your head and you're not bumping the eye or rubbing it, usually by the next day the vision is pretty good. But don't be alarmed if it's not perfectly clear right away. This does take time to heal, just like any other kind of surgery. Your usual medications, blood pressure, heart medicines, and so on, you can take just normally once you go home. In some cases, particularly if we're doing glaucoma surgery at the same time, we may send you home with a patch. If we do that, then you just leave it on till the next morning, and you don't, don't need to put anything in, in, anything in the eye in that case. Just leave the patch on there. If you go home without a patch, we usually recommend that you put a shield on at nighttime 
that's just a clear cover just to keep you from rubbing it or bumping it while you're asleep. And you can just put it over the eye with a piece of tape that just protects the eye from, from you rubbing or bumping it. Patients, especially with a standard implant, will usually, usually need a new prescription once things have healed. Again, we wait about four to six weeks most of the time to, to change that. If you're going to have the second eye done, we may wait till the second eye is done before we do it. If your prescription changes a lot, we might want to change it as early as the first week after surgery. And we can do that, but it may be a temporary prescription that may need to be adjusted later on. If you have a regular optometr optometrist who changes your glasses, we usually recommend that you go back to them and have them change it just because they know what you like and they've been fitting you for, uh, for a while for your glasses. Uh, but if you don't have a regular optometrist, we can help you with that as well. 